in the last 15 years, there's been uh, a uh, exponential increase in the world's ability to uh, sequence DNA. And genomic antibody technology was developed really to take advantage of this explosion in, in DNA sequence information. The idea behind genomic antibody technology is uh, to be able to very rapidly be able to make high quality antibodies uh, simply from DNA sequence information. Recently, uh, a client came to SDIX and was uh, interested in being able to make antibodies that could be used in a diagnostic test that would detect a, a bacteria present in agricultural foodstuffs. Uh, very little is known about this bacteria, apart from the fact that it causes disease. The only thing that's known about uh, this bacteria is that its DNA has been sequenced. Using uh, proprietary uh, algorithms, SDIX algorithms, and uh, publicly available uh, algorithms, SDIX uh, did a bioinformatic analysis of the DNA sequence of these uh, bacteria. And uh, from what is known about gene structure, uh, it is predicted that these bacteria have on the order of about 1,300 uh, different genes, coding for uh, the production of approximately 1,300 uh, different proteins. Using uh, proprietary algorithms, uh, SDIX examined all of these proteins and selected 12 of these uh, genes, uh, coding for 12 proteins, to make antibodies to using the genomic antibody technology. Uh, the technique that the client is using uh, to uh, test for the presence of the bacteria in the agricultural sample um, requires that the antibodies be able to detect proteins that are on the surface of the bacteria. Uh, this technique is known as flow cytometry. While uh, the analytical approach that we use to uh, determine uh, which proteins to make antibodies to um, uh, predict that there may be on the order of about 1,300 uh, different proteins in the cells of these organisms. These are only predictions. And in fact, it is, there is no experimental evidence to, to determine or to know whether or not these proteins actually exist. And if the proteins do indeed exist, there is no experimental evidence that uh, says that the proteins exist on the outer surface of the cell or that they might be perhaps on the interior uh, portion of, of the cell. But using our algorithms, uh, we predicted uh, uh, these 12 target proteins. And we, using genomic antibody technology, we immunized with these uh, 12 targets. Uh, we harvested the antisera, and we transferred the antisera to the client. And the client has uh, evaluated those antisera in the test method that they're developing with the target bacteria that they're attempting to detect. And recently, the client uh, reported that 11 of the 12 targets that we selected using our bioinformatics approach and the antibodies that we made using the genomic antibody technology uh, work and detect with strong signals the target bacteria in the method that they're attempting to detect. So this example really illustrates the power of the genomic antibody technology and the ability to make use of all of the gene sequences that are, are being determined uh, currently in the world today. The next stage of the project is to uh, begin what is called monoclonal antibody development. We are now going to take the cells uh, that are making the antibodies and we are going to go through a process by which they are immortalized and there, therefore we are, thereby we're able to uh, make very large quantities of these antibodies that can be used in the diagnostic test. And that stage of the work is just begun.